Hey everyone, um, welcome to my first YouTube video. Um, this is a video where we're gonna um, go through how to make a kick drum sound in software plugins. Um, in this instance, we'll be using Ableton Live as the sequencer, and that's this plugin called Silence One as our synthesizer. Um, our objective today is to make kick drum samples drum sounds just using synthesizers reason being is, is it's pretty cool to make one plus you can control it make it fit your song so first off I'll play off a little loop I made in well about 10 minutes ago have a listen and as you can see all from the silence. Pretty cool, eh? It's not that. So how to make one? Well, let's have a look over here. I'm going to make a new channel. New insert of silence. Make a basic preset. Initialize preset. It's going to be like this. Doesn't sound cool at all, but um, I'm going to show you how to make it sound kicky. So what we're going to do is set the polyphony to 8, change the pitch octave plus 1, and note value plus 3. Um, I'm going to turn the stereo down to 0, change that to sine wave, and then um, these came out through experimentation. This is important to have as most synthesized kick drums are start from um, sine waves. Just one voice will do for now. We go straight to the envelope. To sustain, sorry, to decay to 3.6 or somewhere near there. Sustain to about zero. Release to about 1.5, 1.4. We go to the filter, change it to low pass, change it to two pole filter or 12 dB filter. Leave the cutoff and resonance as it is for now. We can tweak it later. The driver will take it to about 2.8. Turn the warm driver on. This adds harmonics to the sound, and harmonics is a good thing for kick drums. So let's have a listen to it at the moment. So it sounds like sounds a bit like a mallet hit and um a bit percussive already, so we're we're making good progress here. Uh obviously it doesn't sound like kick yet, but um it's getting there. We go to part B. Two voices of each oscillator, sine wave as well. Note value plus four. Again that's through experimentation. Envelope is important, so we change it to two, three ish, sustain to zero ish, one point five ish. Same as part A. We won't touch the filter for now for part B. I'm gonna adjust the volume on the mixer a little, change this to about six, this down to about one point five. Okay, let's hear what it sounds like. You notice there's a bit more high-end harmonics in it, so we're getting there. We're going to be using both modulation um, envelopes, one LFO and one miscellaneous source. Um, these will get the sound we want. So first off, we'll go to the modulation of envelope 1 uh, set this to pitch A turn up to uh, 1.65 mm, that's cool uh, we won't touch the attack the K will change it to about 1 sustain 
zero release to about one. I'm going to assign the pitch B to this one. I'm going to turn the pitch B up to about eight. Um, decay, just a little bit, 4.5. In a minute you'll hear um, how these affect the sound. With LFO, we're going to set that to square wave or pulse wave. Um, and we're going to ch change the rate to maximum, gain to about 3. We're going to set the source of the LFO. Be. Sorry, cut off. We can play with this later. It adds um, a sort of natural, makes the kick natural. Um, it's hard to explain, but I'll tell you. I'll show you in a minute. Um, this is a very important miscellaneous add key track source before we put it on let's hear what it sounds like it sounds like there's more harmonics and more um, click to the sound if we assign this to pitch a b and turn this down to about minus eight we'll get a pleasant surprise sounds like a kick um and that's it. That's basically um, how to make a kick sound. Um, but the great thing about making kick, kick, kick drum samples is um, it's the ability to modify it the way you want. Um, so if you're into hard style, for example, we'll put distortion on. And listen, let's listen to it now. It sounds like a tube 808 there. You turn this all the way. That's your distorted hard style kick. I don't like hard style myself, so I won't use it. I'll turn it on for some harmonics. It's quite usable in techno. Use the compressor to add punch. So this will compress the sounds the initial attack of the kick and we'll boost the level up um, to add more punch go to pitch A or to mod envelope and turn up the decay sounds a bit more like a 909 now this is getting out of hand so play with that play with this as well play with that as well as you can hear, it gives a bit of natural vibration. So there you have it. Um, that's a very basic kick drum sound in a software plugin. Um, and yeah, feel free to take it home, try it yourself, and see if you can make something better than I can, and um, put in your own music. Um, thanks for watching my video. It's Again, it's my first YouTube video, so any feedback is greatly appreciated. And um, and yeah, I hope to hear from everyone shortly. Have a nice one.